Hi all, welcome back to System Vlog sessions. In this session, I'm going to discuss about constraints in System Vlog. So in the last video, I have explained what is randomization and what is the need of randomization. And also, I have listed few keywords that we are going to use in the constraints. So in this session, I'm going to discuss the these keywords one by one. Okay. So what are constraints? Constraints are used during the randomization to ensure that the generated values meet the specific requirements. Whenever we want to generate the uh, randomized value in such a way that it has to meet our requirements, that time we can use the constraints in the randomization. That means we can add the constraints block in our uh, object, in our class. Okay. So let's start with the keyword inside. So the inside keyword is helpful when randomized values have to be in the provided range. Whenever we want to generate the values, generate the randomized values within the range, that time we can use the keyword inside and we can specify the range so that the, the value will be generated within the range. So this is the syntax, constant, constant name, variable name and the keyword inside. Here you need to give the range. There are multiple ways to write the range. So we will see one by one. So constant, constant name, variable inside and here I am giving the range. This is one type. So here I am using square braces 10 down to 20. So when I write the when I specify the range like this, I get the value from 10 to 20, 10, 11. So it, it says that 10, 11, 12 up to 20. And the second one is if it is not continuous, if it is not continuous, we can separately give the values 40, 70, 80. So the generated randomized value will be within this set only 40 or 70 or 80. And here also here i'm combining both set of values and the uh, this range i'm combining both here you can see so the value will be generated within this set and also we can specify the range based on the uh, define based range also we can give define means before you write like this you need to define it so after define it all the define uh, va define name has a value right so that value will be applied here so for example if tick define start range is 30 and tick define end range is 40 then 30 down to 40 it is nothing but 30 down to 40 also we can give the variable based range for example you declare the variable 1 as a 5 and variable 2 as a 20 5 down to 20 okay parameter also we can give if you specify the parameter you can use the par parameter here and here you can see we have used the range right inside keyword so in all these things we are generating the values within the range within some set but when you don't want to generate the values uh, within this set that time what you can do you can use the inverted inside keyword in uh, inverted symbol in, in inverted symbol you need to use and same syntax goes okay not of this syntax so that the value will not be generated within this range other than this range, the value will be generated. So this is how inside keyword works. Now we will see the example. So before we discussing the constraints, first we will see scope randomization. Scope randomization means in order to randomize the variables which is present in the particular scope. Scope randomization. Inside the module, if you want to randomize the variable, you can use the uh, randomize function, right? Randomize function. So here I have an example module scope and it has uh, the integer type variable where and inside the initial begin, I'm using for loop in order to iterate for six times. Okay. In order to iterate for six times, I'm using for loop. And if randomize where is successful, then this statement will be executed. Otherwise, this statement will be executed. I told that randomize is a function. It will return one for the successful randomization and zero for the failure. So randomization failure, right? So if it is successfully randomized, then we will get the this statement with the randomized value. I will run the code. Here you can see, I am getting these values, right? Here, I am not using any constants. You can see, I am getting random values. I am getting signed values also, unsigned values also. And you can see the digits. So many digits, right? Yeah, I am getting the randomized value with the long range. So, by using constants, we can reduce it. We can get the particular value. I can get simple 5 or minus 5 or plus 5. Okay, based on the constants, what you are writing. Based on the logic, we can get the 
particular value when we use the constants. So this is scope randomization. Now we will see how to randomize the object. So in order to randomize the object, what we can do? We can use the keyword rand and we can use the constant. So now we will see the constant example with the object randomization. Okay. So here keyword inside I'm using I'm, I'm showing all the examples, whatever I have explained in the PPT, I'm showing all the syntax, okay. So in this example, I have a defines, tick define, start range and end range. So 35 and 45 it has. Inside the class, I have seven variables. All the variables I'm using rand keyword. We know, right, in order to randomize the object, we, use, we need to use the keyword rand with the variable. So then only that variable will be randomized. Here I'm showing all the, all the, all the, syntax whatever i have explained in the ppt i am showing all the things okay and inside the module you can see i am instantiating it i am uh, i am creating the object by using new keyword and i am repeating five times that means i am randomizing for five times so here i am printing all the values okay first i will run the code The first one is constant value based range. That means here I am randomizing between 10 and 20. Here you can see value 1 is here. Okay. The first column. First column is for this constraint. Constraint value 1 underscore C is the constraint name. So for the first column is for this values 16, 15, 14, 11, 12. All are between 10 and 20, right? Within this range only, right? So that we can get the values between 10 and 20. So second type is set of values 40 70 80 here you can see we can see the values only 40 70 only 40 70 here we can see you can also get the value 80 here okay and for the third constraint i have combined both the constant value based range and set of values and also included some uh, different values so that it is generating the values between these only so here you can see 20 10 17 21 14 21 is also present right so only the values uh, within this range will be generated so the fourth constraint is inverted range inverted range means i should not get the value with the specified range here you can see fourth constraint this is the fourth constraint i am getting the value more than 200 and less than 100 not between 100 and 200 right you can see here 208 12 240 212 25 so the fifth constraint is uh, value 1 down to value 2 that means range using the variable variable based range I am giving so here I have not uh, given any value for value 1 and value 2 but we have randomized before right here value 1 and value 2 is there so in the first randomization what I am getting value 1 16 and value 2 is 40 so the first in the first randomization I get the values within this range 16 down to 40 so the value is 33 I am getting here also 15 down to 70 the value I am getting is 54 same the whatever the value generated for value 1 and value 2 within that range i get the values for the fifth constraint and the sixth one is define based range here we have defined right 35 and 45 so within this range i will get the value here you can see 35 and 45 so 43 43 40 43 42 all are between all are uh, less than 45 only and this is parameter based here i have uh, if the by default parameter value is 10 and 20 but here I am passing the parameter as 100 and 200 that's why I am getting the values between 100 and 200 so this is how we can give the um, inside keyword how we can use the inside keyword so here you can see this is my module 100 and 200 I am passing and I am creating the object and so here I am printing the values thank you